Good morning to you, collective. Morning mourners. Grand rising risers. God's blessings to you all. Godfather says I need to come in and talk. So, 11-11 awakening to reconnect 33, truth and self, healing journey. Started online in 2011 when I was awakened at 33. I then, in 2012, had a spiritual psychosis attack and too many doors were opened and I ended up being taken into a mental hospital because the spiritual people who were meant to help me abandoned me and were working for the occult and attacked me. The whole community was against me. Friends, family and all work colleagues, everybody. So I ended up going to hell. 2011-12 and um, I've had a 13 year journey in reality of real life and online life. I am who I say I am and I say what I am and I mean what I say. I say what I mean. Now I have I've been like Job from the Bible. So in 2011 I had seven children, I had an ex-husband I had a home, a business, a car, a job, a life, and I've been stripped of everything. Everybody has betrayed me bar one child. Even though she has been tested and tested me. <laughs> She's one of my greatest teachers. The children are the greatest teachers. You should pay attention to the children and your elders. They're the greatest teachers. The youth and the uh, elders, in my personal experience anyway. Every day we're a student before you are a master. A master of what? You have to master yourself before you can master anybody else. So my journey is, is, is one of mental health, really. I have suffered all my life with spiritual attacks and mental abuse and physical abuse. So it's all a mental mind game, really. It's, it's the major thing. Can you overcome all of these mental problems? So I've suffered mental health-wise with all of the mental health conditions labelled by society. Every one of them. Post-traumatic stress syndrome, depression, anxiety, bipolar, personality disorder... <sighs> autism every everyone you want every mental health disorder i have suffered with and um, i am fully healed and recovered in 13 years i've gone from the depths of the darkest hole in history i can't even tell you how dark it was down there i went to the void that's that's dark so I've been to the void and back and down to the void again and back again three times in 13 years because they kept attacking me and doing things and I had to keep going back and learning and more and more and more and more because the elite 1% fat cats and the people who are ruling the world know who I am. And I know who I am now. I knew who I was anyway, but I was learning because how do you become a great leader by being a great server? And you're on my server. You're all on my line. I've caught you all and I've catfished. I'm the ultimate catfish. Teach a man to fish and he will feed for life. So I've taught you. I'm going to teach you how to be fisherman. That's my kind of role. So uh, the mental health still continues to this day. So this is my job is just to record this and tell you what you're doing. And as as you do that, you're. I, I've never been so calm in my life more calmer than I've ever been in my whole entire life. Just calmer. That's my role. So today is Thor's day, the 19th of the 9th, 2024. Now today is Thor's day, my God's given day. I'm electric like that. So what we're doing today is, I've woke up early, done some hypnotism, hypnotism, hypnotizing on myself, some meditation on myself, because today 
they're coming back again to jab me. Now, it's very insulting because I've recovered from all of these mental illnesses. Now, they know I have, but they're still trying to test me and they're still trying to insist. They're, they're digging their hole deeper and deeper by the day because they're, they've now still got me on a section three in the community. And they're saying that I am a day. So to be on a section three means that you have to be a danger to yourself, a danger to humanity, a danger to society, a danger to yourself, a danger to other people. I'm here by myself. They've literally broken every rule in the land and uh, of their land laws. And here we are where I'm not getting the proper care that I need. I've been neglected. I've been abused by the system. All my life, actually, but we're just going with the last 13 years. So I've, I'm have i fully recovered from all mental health disorders. And they're now insisting on still giving me a jab. They've upped the dosage. I don't know if you've been following the journey, but they've upped the dose. And they've upped it to once a week instead of once a fortnight as well. Now that I'm in the community. When I was in the hospital, I was just getting it once a fortnight, 200 milligrams. Now I'm getting 300 milligrams every week. Because the doctor thinks it's necessary. Because obviously I'm a danger. And I'm in need of care. Yet they can't be bothered to... If I had anxiety and depression and I was suffering with psychosis, they didn't even bother to phone me yesterday to cancel an appointment that they made. They made, not me. I didn't ask them to go. <laughs> I don't need them to come here. I'm just allowing them to hang themselves now at this point. So the doctors are all involved and all the nursing care involved, everybody in the community involved. The, the, the land is cursed, not the uh, people, but the people are now cursed on the land. Everyone who's come in contact with me is involved in this conspiracy to hate. So today, I'm not going to bother telling them any of this because they know this already. So I'm just going to play it by ear and see what we have to say to them today. Um, but they are actually coming out as a nurse and team and they're going to jab me today. I'm also having a meeting with my uh, support worker who is actually being very good and very supportive. She's helping me a lot. So we do have a good team with the support working team and the housing place that I'm living at now is very nice. Finally, we found someone who's a good person and a good team to work with. So things are looking up, but the um, your medical system, your pharmaceutical companies and your um, system of BS has got a blockage in the system. And it's terrible the way they treat the people down here in this system. It's like Nazi camps. It's like a Nazi camp. They take away your freedom. I've got. I can tell stories and tell stories because I've been in the system. I was in the hospital in twenty twelve, and I've been then again in to the hospital for eight weeks. Very compassmentous, knowing exactly what's going on. Reporting like an Ofsted reporter to the lawyers and to the bosses. I've recorded everything that's happened. Every day I did. I came online and did a report for it. So it it might have sounded a bit crazy and a bit weird. And you might know what's she doing now? Why is she in there? Why is she? Why is a woman like her in the mental hospital? I thought she was. What does it doesn't make sense? But it does make sense because God said to me that um, when I in twenty twelve when I said why the hell am I going through this like Job? What the hell? Oh, my life. So what happened was God said I was allowed to reclaim my power. So. In 2022, I had a year of being like a gangster again in the 90s <laughs> in Handsworth, <laughs> mixing with the underworld of the gangster lifestyle with, with the girl teeth. And um, I did that. A Brit work, well, really, I was working as well. I was undercover detective and healing at the same time, but I didn't realise they were going to attack me at the same time as well. I was trying to heal. So I had my Sekhmet moment where I fell asleep with the wine. Except I and got healed under the sun instead of getting killed by the sun. He healed me raw this time. I'm allowed to stay this time. So that happened. So I did a year in Handsworth and some time in Aston, which is where King Henry VIII was. So I've cleared those energy portals, sorted all that out mess that Henry made. And then um, 
I've also been to Sheldon, which is the Big Bang Theory, which is very good. Learned a lot in there and sorted all that out. Then I went to the city and worked on the graveyard because where the hostel was, was built on top of a graveyard. So I've sorted all that out, broken all those linear and generational curses from that side of things. All while working as well in 3D in normal life. And the hostel is closing down now because of the work that I did there, because it was an absolute disgrace. The support workers weren't supporting people. And it was a mental health crisis there. Nine people died while I was there in... 12 weeks, I think. So that was a bit of a shame, really, because we did have nine deaths. Overdoses, killings, murders, sacrifices. So that went on. So I've done that. And then now, then I had a time in the hospital. Well, actually came to King Standing and um, found out that the landlord and the corrupt, would, what they did was they sent me from the hostel to a corrupt landlord trying to still make me invisible, trying to still harvest my energy and trying to, wanted to tie me up and have 10 men rape me on a radiator. That was the plan, or shooting. So that's not worked out very well for them. And, um, then now I, then, sorry, then I ended up getting taken in by an ambulance by the fraudulent reports and slander on my name saying that I was taking drugs, running up and down the road naked and causing a disturbance in the street, which is all lies and slander, but hey, whatever. So I ended up having eight weeks in the hospital undercover working there for God. So I've done that. Now I've come out of the hospital illegally and they've broken every law. I mean, it's too much to go into. My lawyer knows what's going on, so that's okay. So I'm just giving you a rough summary of what I've been doing for the last two years. So then I've done two eight weeks service in the hospital and worked out who's who in there and served all the dish up the karma for all of those lot in there. Helped some people heal and some people are now going to the dark night of the soul. And I've served karma to all the doctors and nurses who were in there in the Oli Oli causing a right riot. Good, bad and the ugly. It's a, it's a mixed bag. And now I'm back out in the community at the Standing on the King's head. And, um... <coughs> <coughs> What's happening now is I'm now working with a home community team and working out who's good, bad and the ugly there and serving for God. And now my next mission is to bring justice to all the new doctors that are coming in on the scene and all the students and all the people and everybody who knew about this but has said nothing. I've told you I'm an MK Ultra Survivor program. And I've been denied again and everybody's just mocking me behind the scenes, laughing at me, thinking that <laughs> we don't care, I'm gonna get her again, we're gonna Because I'm a VIP. They're trying to steal my money and the only way they can get my money is by me being dead three three things i either have to be dead i have to be mentally insane and have a certificate to say i'm mentally insane so the doctor's given me an illegal certificate to say i've got a mental illness or put in prison for a crime that i didn't commit but they can't do the crime that i didn't commit they tried to get me done with the gangsters crimes but that failed and then they tried to um kill me many times they even put fentanyl in my weed one day I mean, that was an experience. I had a good sleep that night. Uh, I died <laughs> and came back to life again. Oh, yo, you're right. The hitman said to me the next day, oh, you're, you're awake. Uh, yes. <laughs> Did you think I was going to die with a little bit of fentanyl to take all of that to kill me? Can't kill a dead man. <coughs> <coughs> I was, oh, you don't like this truth, do you not? <coughs> I was born dead. So that's very good. And um, they've stolen my identification. They've stolen my, the fraud on a level that you would never seen fraud done before. And we're going to release and tell all the details as slowly as these weeks and months go on now. Because winter's for you, not for me. I'm just here to get fat and eat and enjoy myself. And work doing God's job. And this is my God's job. 
I will be paid handsomely, apparently. But I do have everything I need, not everything I want. I want a Range Rover, but we don't get what we want, do we? So that's what that's a lesson in life that you need to learn. You don't get what you what you want, you get what you need. Now I don't really need to be here, but I do because it's my god job. And I put my godfather before myself. Or my joy or my happiness. But things are starting to work out really well now because um God has given me the gift of mental clarity and I've healed my mental mind madness. And um, I've got peace of mind, peace of heart. So I've won already, really. And, um, yeah, now we're just waiting from rags to riches, apparently. God says he's going to bless me in front of everybody and you will not believe what he's got in store for me because I'm Job. So he's going to Job, which is J-O-B, Job. I'm on the God job. <laughs> so apparently I can have all of this stuff material wealth that they want and they want the power that I've got because I've got the keys of the new keys because I'm from Cornwall, I'm a Cornish pirate and um, Beast of Bodmin Black Cat and apparently they're all trying to still steal from me and harvest from me but they're not winning anything they're just digging their grave deeper and deeper so I should look forward to today for the jab on the job of God's job, and uh, you're still denying my word and still denying the Most High Maker, whoever you choose that to believe. I believe it's Ra. I like the Ra story. If if that's my God, you can worship whatever God you like, but the Sun gives life, and has made me alive again, and given me a second chance at life. So I'm resetting my life, resetting the. The whole system's been reset. And um, you'll see the empires fall. And you'll see the new kings and queens and the real kings and queens and the real ones, chosen ones, will be reclaiming their power and their position in life. We're going for the G8 now. The G7's bankrupt. They have no money anyway. It's only paper. They have no wealth. So don't worry about that. We'll sort all that out. There's these minor details that we're going to sort out. There's many people. You're not prepared for what comes behind me. I'm just, this is my God job, just to be the experiment for the mental health team at the moment. And uh, the mental health system that's going on and the political system that goes with that. The politics and the red tape that go with mental health is unbelievable. You can't believe it. You can't even do your job. I mean, I used to be a support worker. So God has empowered me to reclaim my power in front of all of you. Because I'm not mentally ill. No, I'm not. I'm enlightened. And I've had a spiritual kundalini awakening. That's what's been going on for the last 13 years. It's all been... It's all been... It's, mental health is a lie. And the system is a lie. And they've lied about everything. Religion, politics, mental health. Your whole, your whole system is a lie. It's a system of BS. So we're going to slowly... 18, 18 on the clock. We're going to slowly smash down the empire and and teach you these things and uh, we're the new world order leaders we're the new world order we're the order that you weren't expecting because i'm ordered myself you didn't order i didn't order what you're giving me i didn't order the jab today this is not this is not part of creation this is part of destruction do you understand what i'm saying now am i making sense i hope so so I'm telling you I'm the uh, boss. I'm having a lovely coffee. It's caramel latte. Salted caramel latte because I'm a bit salty. That's what happens when you're a fisherman. You get caught with the sea salt of the sea lions, of the lions. Slippy sea lions. So that's, that's, as far, that's the update for today. So... Um, I'm looking forward to seeing what the lawyers and everybody else is doing behind me. Can't wait for God's surprises for me. Apparently there's going to be some treats in store for me. Because I'm getting a little bit sick of this now. You're going to have to hurry up, boys, because I am really now. My patience is running thin. I'm not going to lose it. No, obviously not, because I've got patience of a saint in me. I'm Saint Ostella. Um, I'm, not, I'm not Red Ruth. But... 
it's becoming annoying that you're stopping me doing the rest of God's word now because I've been jabbed enough. I think it's five times, by the way. I thought it was four, but it's not. It's five. So I think five times is is enough now. I don't think we really need to be keep repeating the same thing over and over again. It's a form of madness. So I think you're going to have to reevaluate yourself, doctors, and come up with another plan because this is an absolute disgrace. So I shall see you in the court of appeal. And then I'll see you in the high courts and we're just going to take it from there and sue the pants off all of you. Because I have been used and abused as an experiment for the government and this is an absolute outrage. I'm an MK Ultra survivor and I will be suing everybody involved, yes. Everybody, including the postman. Apparently they're having court cases behind my back. I didn't know I was at court. Didn't even know I had any money. Insurance job. It's like the Italian job. It's terrible. 21.03 on the clock. That's a 9.9 and a 3.3. Three. So we need to really just take a moment. To say thank you to the Most High. Blessings to everybody involved. I hope everybody carries on doing the right thing. To do the right thing doesn't get you liked. That's why everybody hates me. I'm not liked by many. And um, I'm not here to be liked, really, so I don't mind that. that uh, my job, I've been trained to be hated. It's part of my SAS mission. Okay. So I shall continue today. I, it's only four o'clock in the morning. So I've just come on to, to to tell you the word of God for today, which is do not jab that woman, do not touch my anointed, and have the wrath of God if you do. And you will be served karma accordingly to your treatment given. Treatment will be given accordingly now to your actions and your intentions. What is your intention? Why are you doing it? What are you doing it for? Are you following the sheep of a leader who's telling you to do things or are you using your own mind? Because you have free will. That's the curse of being human, yes. You could say no, but you're frightened to lose your wages. I haven't had any pay since the 3rd of May and I haven't had a, had a proper job job, not in the Matrix, since 2022, May. I left my job. So I haven't had a work from since May 2022. So that's two and a half years nearly of no wages and just working on a whim of God. Okay, so I'm fully employed by the Most High and I will be paid accordingly for my time, effort and destruction of your hate and your slander campaigns. All right then, so I'll speak to you later. I'm going to go and get a nice shower and get ready for the day and I'll check in later with a coffee and a cigarette. Take care, bye.